All right, this is gonna be my first ride since I've got the bike back. So I just got the bike back Thursday from Enduro Engineering. Uh, I had the suspension resprung and valved for B-Class Hair Scramble. Also, while it was there, I had the ECU sent out because they happen to work with somebody uh, through them now. So yeah, now after getting the bike back, I, I noticed for sure that by them leaning out on the bottom, it's 100% spice here. So, all right, here we go. I haven't been on the bike in a month. And uh, the trail we're riding right now is uh, Horseshoe Lake, which is a pretty tight single track. So I gotta be careful. Warm up. All right, here's where I'll hop in and just say if there's anybody that has one of these new TBIs and is, is kind of wondering what the difference is between stock form or actually having your ECU reflashed, I'm going to tell you right now, it's a massive difference. I was surprised. So when I first got this bike, uh, it's amazing in stock form, but I thought, you know what? It, I'm new to two strokes, but it's kind of fat down low, it, kind of burbly or whatever. So anyways, I took my bike into Enduro Engineering to have my suspension done, as I always do, and we got to talking, they're telling me they reflash ECUs now. So uh, I had that done, it completely cleaned up the bike, like I'm in amazement. So. They, I think what they did is they lean out the bottom where it was a little rich and then in the mid and top there's some spots where the bike is really lean. So they cleaned the bike up and it's, it's just like a new bike. I can't believe how much stronger the bike runs and it was already obviously a strong bike being a 300 but yeah the third gear now is if, if you're anywhere in the upper RPM range of third gear, hold on, man. You're better off just shifting to third gear. I am so impressed. So it was well worth the money. And as far as the suspension goes, you know, they always do a good job. This is my third bike in a row I've had them do. So as I said in the beginning, I had it uh, uh, sprung and valved for the 200 pound b-class hair scramble and the forks feel amazing i just have to do a little fine tuning with the rear shock but what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of ride it another time or two kind of let it break in because i i kind of felt by the end of the day it felt a little different already so i'll give it a couple rides before i make any adjustments but it's gonna be like very very minor adjustments i mean i might just have to go a couple clicks here and there on the rear shock but love it highly recommend it uh enduro engineering now does it cost me 250 bucks and it might have been the best 250 bucks i spent on the bike so far so anyways uh yeah just enjoying this beautiful 60 degree day in michigan um really out of shape i have barely been riding this year but from now on i'm gonna start getting back out so anyways guys uh i'll put some more footage in here and watch whatever you guys want and uh i'll see you next time thanks for watching
Okay, following Max for a minute. We're on Horseshoe Lake. bike so Jake's on his 350 and you're on the 300 TPI Twisty. I haven't been up top here for a while. 